Arrows. Guys, I want to introduce you to somebody tonight. We've uh, we've got a guest speaker tonight. I now hold on, Shh. guys. Please listen to me, okay? We've got a guest speaker tonight. Uh, I forgot to ask Dad permission, but I found this guy on the internet. He says he uh, he's sold out, and uh, he just loves going around spreading the word. And uh, so we've asked him. Uh, Sorry I didn't get permission to do this, but I just felt it was the right thing to do. I read his biography and why he, he just loves to talk and just loves to just put his uh, message out there for people to hear. And uh, he says he knows what he's talking about and that he's right. So uh, his biography was good enough for me. So guys, I want you to give a hand to our friend, Sam. Can I say hi, Sam? Hi, kids. How are you doing today? Good. I hope everyone knows why they're here tonight. I hope you don't think that you came tonight because Jesus wants you here tonight. I hope you're here tonight because it's fun, not because you want to serve the Lord. That wouldn't make much sense to come to church for God. You should come for the prizes, right? No. No. Well, I think you're wrong. You shouldn't come because you think God loves you. You should come because of the prizes and the fun. And sometimes there's ice cream. That's why you should come to church. It sounds like Brother Craig hasn't been teaching you correctly. It sounds like it's a good thing that I'm here tonight. No! 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 What are you saying? About what? I, I stepped out to go use the bathroom and get a drink, and I come back in here saying something that I wasn't teaching the kids right. I take offense to that. I, I do try to pray and follow God's will. I don't try to pray, I do pray. And I try to follow God's will for what he wants us to teach. Sometimes I don't get an idea for a lesson until Sunday morning sitting in church. I don't even, I, I get a thought and it's something that said or whatever says, you know what, you should do this for a lesson. And I thought, after reading what was on the internet about you and how wonderful you were and how much you just love getting the word out, wait a second. You love getting the word out. Yes. Wait a second. It says you love getting the word out. It didn't say which word. I know no, it said it. Must have not paid attention to that part. The bad word. The bad word? My word. You guys think he likes your word? My word. Wait a second. I think he's wrong. You guys think he's wrong? Yeah. He said, we don't come to church for the prizes, do we? No! But I like to win prizes. I like to win prizes, don't you? There's nothing wrong with prizes. But if you come just for the prizes, that's not right. Snakes can't talk. We come for the Lord. We don't come for the prizes, Sam. Well, you should. No, I think you're wrong. I don't think that's the kind of God I serve. Well, then why do you come? I come for the Word of God. I come for the worship. I, uh, well, I don't come to hear me, but I come to hear God. Sometimes God uses me. Sometimes God uses Sister Susie. Sometimes God uses the pastor. Sometimes God uses Kyle. Sometimes God uses Jacob. We come to hear what God has to say, not what, not what the person has to say. And sometimes God blesses you with the ice cream and the prizes. Ice cream and prizes? Wait a second. I, you're wrong. And that makes sitting through all the boring church words. What, what do you know about God anyways? I've, I've read the Bible. You've read the Bible? Parts of it. All right. Okay, then uh, go ahead and tell me what you know about the Bible. What do you want to know? Well, what about God? What do you know about God? You, th you think God is love? 
No, God doesn't love us. Okay, well let me show you something right here. Every, uh, if you got your Bibles, turn to Psalms. Okay, it's Psalms 86 and 15. He said God doesn't love us. Do you guys think God loves us? Yeah. Because in Psalms uh, 86 and 16, it says, Oh, turn unto me, and I have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto the servant, and save the son of thine handmaid. I'm sorry. It's Psalms 86 and 50. But thou, o Lord, art a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering, and plenteous in mercy and truth. Amen. God's not mean. Amen. This, just said, this just said that He's a God full of long suffering, and He's a God that is plenteous. He's a God that's gracious. He's a God that's compassionate. He's a God in mercy and truth. He's wrong on that, don't you think? Yes. Yes. God's not mean at all. But you miss the important part. Okay, what's the important part? God only loves the good people. God only loves the good people? God doesn't love God them. only loves the, the church people. Is what yes. you think. Church people. So you think we're wrong because God loves the church people? Yes. Well, guess what? God does love the church people. Amen. He does. But guess what else? What? Sam, turn your Bible to John 3.16. Somebody quoted that tonight. You should have been here for that. You probably couldn't have handled that. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world. World. Everybody. Everybody. The world. Everybody. The people in Africa. The people in Asia. The people in America. The people in... in uh, where? Everywhere. Everywhere in the world. Even the places that maybe we've never even heard about. Maybe there's, there's land out there that we don't even know exists because they haven't found it yet. But if there's people on those lands, God loves them because the Bible says that God loves the world. world. So Sam, that's two that I've uh, beat you on. Wait just a minute. Doesn't your Bible say that Christians, the church people, aren't supposed to be of the world? Doesn't it? So maybe I was wrong. What now? Maybe I was wrong. Yeah, I maybe, think maybe God doesn't love church people. He only loves people who are in the world not living for him. Maybe I did have it wrong. Well, maybe once you some start serving God, he doesn't care about you anymore. Huh. But guess what? The that Bible says in Romans 5 that, that God committed his love for us. That while we were still sinners, before we ever bowed and prayed and asked Jesus in our heart, when we were doing bad, when we were doing wrong, that before all that happened, God loved us. As bad as we were, as wrong as we were, God still loved us. Sam, I think you're a fraud. I think you I think he tricked me. He put on the internet how wonderful he is and how good of a word he had and how, I am, how and I do. No, you're a liar. That's what you are. You're a liar. You know who he reminds me of? The devil. That's exactly who he reminds me of. The devil's like a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. Go around not spreading good things and happiness and, and all the good things of the world. He's deceiving us. He's tricking us. He's telling us what's good is bad and what's bad is good. He has no idea what he's talking about. But you know what? God has a place for him. I tell you what, he's a liar, he's not a preacher, he's going around trying to be a preacher, but he is a liar. He's a liar. What? What? Stop. Stay. Stay. He did what? He led you the wrong way. Well, he was out here trying to lead them the wrong way, too. And I'm glad I came back in when I did. Because see, I thought he was a preacher. Because I read up on him on the internet. And he was supposed to be a preacher. He was supposed to be out spreading the good news. and But he never, I never even. He stopped by my house. He tried to be the witness. Did he? He did. Where did he go? And what did he say? He told me that I didn't have to go to church this morning. Only if I wanted to go. And I didn't have to go to Wednesday. 
denied only if I wanted to go, that I just needed to make myself happy, that whatever made me happy would make God happy. Yes. And that's all I had to do. But you know what? Brother Miller called to check on me this afternoon to make sure I wasn't sick is why I wasn't here. And I told him what that supposed preacher told me. And he told me he led me to he led you the wrong way. He deceived you. He did. Just like he deceived me. He did. Just like he tried to deceive you. Luckily, we caught him just in time. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Got your hand up? Huh? He's not over there. We're going to get... He was away because he found out that he was found out. Sam! That's what the devil does. He bit his neck off. When the devil finds out that he's been found out, he takes off out the door. Mm -hmm. Amen. All that's left back here is the bow tie that he was wearing. Bow tie killed him. The, the, he, he dressed he up. Out pretty quick, didn't he? he sure did. When you came running, it scared all of us and definitely scared him. And all that. All that. All that. He, he was wearing a bow tie to try to trick us in because preachers usually wear ties. He tried to look the part, but, he, but he, he deceived us. He didn't walk. He didn't deceive us because we caught him and we yeah. ran him out of here. I'm glad he's gone. I'm glad he's gone. I'm, I'm glad we didn't let his lies go on any longer than what he did. Hey, would you guys like to see a box of tricks? I've got a box of tricks. And I also promise we're going to do this uh, soda drink contest. I'm taking the tie home. I'm taking the tie home. Okay, i got a box of tricks. <laughs> no, because I couldn't find one, Justin. If I could have found one, I would have had it. I got a box of tricks here. How many would like to see some tricks? All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I've got this rope. Come here. Uh, give me two people. Liam? Yeah, I know you're not Liam. Heather, hold that in. And you hold that in. And without hurting each other, just pull on it. Let's make sure it's a real rope. You guys agree that's real? It's nice and strong? Okay, can you hold it? What I'm going to do for you is I'm going to cut this rope with my safety scissors. It's going to take me a minute to get through it, but these are the only scissors I can find, so just bear with me. And here we go. Hold tight. Do you? Alright, we did it! I'm sweating, but we did it. Alright, how many things I can do magic? You have no faith in me, that's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two pieces of rope. We agree this is real rope. You guys just watch me tie, uh, cut it, and I'm going to drop it into my magic box. Now, with you guys' help, I'm going to say the magic word. And on the count of three, we're going to wave the magic ink pen. Because that's what the magic, okay. The magic ink pen over it, and we're going to all say uh, Shazam. I like Shazams. Or I, how about this? How about from the guy that does the cooking, we'll just say, on the count of three, we'll BAM! You guys do that with me? And I'm going to pull that rope out of this box. Tie. You guys ready? You guys think I can do it? I cut the rope, I threw it in the box, and I'm gonna wave my magic pin over it. We're gonna say the magic word together, and I'm gonna pull it out, and it will be tied. Here we go. We're gonna say bam. Here we go. On the count of three. Ready? Everybody take your hands and wave them with me. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Bam! Woo! And ladies and gentlemen, we have tied. You guys like that? Trevor loved it. I did my best. I told you I could do magic, and you guys believe me. But just in case you didn't believe me, time. I just did that in front of your very eyes. All right. We've also got another. Uh, told you we're going to do the soda drinking contest in just a minute. I need two helpers. Video. And uh, we're talking about being deceived tonight. 
and how the devil tries to trick us. But you know what? When you come to church, and when you start reading your Bible, and when you start following the things of God, God gives you a backbone to know when you're being deceived. I've got this rope right here. It's just a regular rope, okay? You can take it. We can tie it. We can tie it in a bow. We can make a necktie of it or whatever. But I've got this rope. And see, the devil thinks that we're all stupid. Because we go to church and we follow God, that we're stupid. But he don't know that greater is he that is in me than him who's in the world. So here's what we're going to do. Come here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Here we go. And on the count of three, Emilio, we're going to count, and you're going to let go. And if Cheyenne, uh, Shy I don't know your name, Delana, if Delana has a backbone, the rope is going to stand straight out. So here we go. On the count of three. Ready? You're going to let go on the count of three. And you're going to hold it straight out. Got this? Okay, because she's got a backbone. Here we go. Ready? One. Two, three, let go. Whoa, that didn't work. What'd you do? It wasn't me, it was her. What did you do? Okay, come here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to have you do it, and you're going to let go, because obviously you don't have faith, and you wasn't paying attention. You let the devil trick you, and yeah, okay, 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 okay. Okay, here we go. You got this? You're gonna do this, right? Okay, oh, here we go. <laughs> Hold it right here by my thumb. On the count of three. Ready? One, two, three, let go. Nope. Oh. oh! What did you do? What did he do? You did nothing. I didn't know that. It wasn't me, it was her. What did she do? All right, so let's try this one more time because somewhere one of you are messed up. Is it you? Fabulous ring. Oh, it's oh, oh, it's me. Well, all right. Then I tell you what, we're gonna get two different people. Come here, go ahead and sit down. I need a. Uh, Jaden, come here. And for a girl, Kaya, come here. Come here. They couldn't do it. They were a little older. If you guys get young, I have to use teenagers, and I don't want to use teenagers. They, they don't listen. They don't listen. So, Jaden, you just heard what I said. We're not going to let the devil trick us, right? We're going to have a what? We're going to have a what? Faith. 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 But we're going to have a what? Backbone. Backbone. A backbone. That's what this is about, having a backbone. The devil's going to come up and go, oh, smarter than you. I'm smarter than God. Devil thought he's, Eve thought that the devil was smarter than God. And that's where she ate the apple. Remember? Remember doing that story? Adam and Eve? Alright, so here we go. Here we go, boys. Right here with my hand. Alright, here we go. Kaya, on the count of three, we're going to let go. Me and you are going to let go, okay? Here we go. We're going to let Jaden has got the bag on. He learned, right? Here we go. On the count of three. Three, two, one. Oh! It's not me. It's not me. It's you. How is it? How is it me? It's your string. It's not my. It's your rope. It's your string. It's your string. I'm gonna meet you outside after church. I'm just kidding. You'd probably beat me up. You don't let him beat me up. All right, here we go. Let's try this, guys. Everybody on the count of three with me saying, in the name of Jesus. Ready? One, two, three. In the name of Jesus. We're going to have a backbone. We're not going to let the devil trick us. Here we go. Okay, hold it over Just, Just hold it. You're going to let go. Okay? Here we go. Okay, on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Let go. Wow. And just like that, we had a back home, guys. And if you don't let the devil trick you and deceive you, 
We're going to have a backbone, and we're going to be able to stand up against the things of the devil. All right, I'm going to need two more people. Go sit down. For a bottle drinking contest, Jonathan, come here. And I'm going to use police. Come here. So it'll be great. All right. So what we decided to do is we're going to have a silver drinking contest. Normally, we're now going to... Listen, listen, I want you guys to understand this rule. We don't drink soda in the church. We don't disrespect the house of God. For right now, this is for a lesson. We're going to have a contest because you like Pepsi, right? And you like Pepsi, right? Who thinks that Khalees can drink a bottle of soda the fastest? Come on, make some noise. How many think Jonathan can drink a bottle of soda the fastest? All right, so here's what we're going to do. On the count of three, let me get your bottles of soda. If you spill, you're disqualified. Here you go, Khalees. Here you go, Jonathan. It's a bottle of soda. I told you there was going to be a bottle of soda. Oh! Oh, you thought... Oh, you... you no, yeah, you're doing it. Oh, yeah, you are. Here we go. You thought I was talking about this. No, you can't trade it. I said the bottle of soda. That's the bottle of soda. These ain't even my sodas. I borrowed them. No, you can't play with the nipple. Come on. Here we go. Come up here. Sorry. Come here. All right. How many things Jonathan can... Jonathan can drink a bottle of soda the fastest. Yes. And please. All right, here we go. The rules are, you cannot bite the nipples off. You cannot squeeze the bottle. You just have to suck it like a baby. We're going to go in 60 seconds. Here we go. In three, two. You're going to lose if you don't. Come on. Come on, here we go. Just do it. Jonathan, come on. You're a big deal. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Do it. Come on, please. You want to win? Come on. Come on. You're losing. Jonathan. Jonathan. Please. 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 Thank you, babies. Oh, you're drinking pretty fast. He's trying to look cool. You can't look cool sucking a bottle. <laughs> oh. See, that's what the devil does. He tries to make the things of God look good, or try to make the things of God his way, tries to pretend that they are the things of God, but in the end, he just looks stupid. You follow the devil, he looks stupid. See how he does that? And can I tell you one more thing that happened? This isn't even Pepsi that's in here. It's not. It's RC Cola. Which, still soda. But see, the devil can't match what God had, even if he tried. And then to put it in a bottle, a baby bottle, to just make it look silly. I told you that my favorite scripture is, I came that she might have life, and that she have it more abundantly. God's not going to do stuff that makes you look stupid. God's not going to give you things that make you look bad or makes everybody laugh at you or whatever. Yeah, we stick out because we're Christian. But because, see, this world is not going in the good direction. This world's going in the bad direction. So good looks odd to people. Because people aren't used to seeing good. But you know what? The plan of Super Sunday, the plan that we have for this church, is that we raise up a new generation, guys. And you are the generation that we're raising up. And we're training you. And we want you to be Christians and be good people. People that's not afraid to leave their cars unlocked when you guys live by them because you're not going to get into their cars and steal. 
right? People that trust you, people that know, hey, these guys are Christians. I see them carry their Bibles out and get on that bus every Sunday night. I trust these kids. I wouldn't mind if they were in my house because they're not going to steal from me or take from me. So everybody bow your heads.